Hey there, introverts. Is it you or someone you know that identifies as an introvert? Are you curious to know what it is that makes introverts, well, <laughs> introverts? If so, you're at the right place. Despite the fact that one third to half of the world's population is made up of introverts, introversion is still completely misunderstood today with many stereotypes and myths surrounding it. Research regarding your tendencies, habits, and needs shows there are certain differences in your psychological makeup that make you an introvert. To help you feel more understood, here are 10 of the psychological reasons why you are an introvert. Number one, there are four types of introverts. Did you know that it's impossible for there to be only one type of introvert out there? Psychologist Cheek created a model that spells the acronym STAR, explaining the four different types of introverts that exist. The S in STAR stands for social, Social introversion is what is commonly accepted and understood as being the archetypical definition of introversion. People who identify as social introverts prefer small groups over large ones or may prefer solitude altogether. The T in STAR stands for thinking. Thinking introversion is one of the newer concepts of introversion today. People who identify as thinking introverts are introspective, thoughtful, and self-reflective. The A in STAR stands for anxious. Anxious introverts seek time to be alone because they often feel awkward and self-conscious. Unlike social introverts, anxious introverts experience painful shyness when they're around new people. And the R in STAR stands for restrained. People who identify as restrained introverts function on a slower pace and prefer to think before they speak and act. They're also known for being reserved. Number two, introverts react quickly to new information but are slower to respond to change. Are you called out for being lazy? Do you get the situation way before others, but are usually last to respond? According to Australian psychologist, John Brebner, introverted brains are more stimulated when situations call for them to analyze what is required of them to do next. For instance, when a phone rings, you generate more excitation in your brain, whereas extroverts need to inhibit everything else going on in their heads in order to make a decision. When an introvert needs to prepare for an action, however, you may hesitate longer to pick up the phone. An extrovert, on the other hand, answers the phone right away. While introverts are quick to react strongly to new situations, extroverts, in contrast, are quicker to register changes and act on them. Number three, introverts dread small talk. If you never had to deal with another small talk session, would it be too soon? Psychologist Laurie Helgo, author of Introvert Power, why your inner life is your hidden strength, states that small talk blocks honest interaction. As an introvert, you might come off as being disinterested in others because you don't like taking part in small talk. You dread it because of the barriers it creates between you and others, as you want to feel connected. However, you prefer to make connections through authenticity. Deep and meaningful conversations are what you often crave to help lower the walls. Number four, introverts need alone time. This one is for those who strongly identify as social introverts. According to research, the reason introverts need alone time is that they respond differently than extroverts do to rewards. Rewards include food, money, sex, and social status. Although as introverts, you do care about eating, the income that you earn, and cultivating relationships with others, you're less driven and experience less enthusiasm for them. Extroverts, in contrast, are more energized by working for those rewards, which is why they're also prone to instant gratification more often than introverts. Number five, introverts aren't risk averse, but are more careful and calculated about what risks to take. This is due to the biological makeup of the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter associated with sensation seeking, risks, and new adventures. According to research, there is a difference in dopamine activity in the brains of introverts compared to those of extroverts. This isn't because you have less dopamine in your brains than extroverts, both have the same amount. However, introverts have less activity in the region of their brain that generates dopamine. Number six, introverts are deep thinkers. Do you recall the different types mentioned earlier? Which type identifies with this point? Due to less dopamine activity, you rely more on a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine, just like dopamine, is linked to pleasure. The difference, however, lies in pleasure. 
Acetylcholine mediated pleasure is produced from turning inwards. This allows you to ponder and reflect deeply and focus on one task with great attention for an extended period of time. Acetylcholine also influences one to prefer calm, quiet settings over loud, crowded places. Number seven, introverts are highly creative. Do you need solitude to recharge? Did you know it's also within solitude that you find creativity? Psychologists discovered that teenagers who have a hard time alone were less likely to develop their creative skills. Most artists and writers who identify as introverts do their best work when they're by themselves, as opposed to working in group settings. Researcher Reed Larson also found that adolescents feel less self-conscious when they're alone. Therefore, it helps individuals feel safe taking more risks that allow their creative juices to flow. Number eight, introverts like the rain. Do you scour the internet for ambient sound clips? If so, then the rain is your best friend too. Rain creates white noise that often attracts introverts because of the opportunities it brings to seek solitude. Its calming effect also helps you derive pleasure from it as you can turn inwards and escape within yourself for the time being. Rain helps lower expectations for the day and isn't as overstimulating as other weather days with the overbearing sun. Number nine, pretending to be extroverted can negatively affect your performance. At times, do you play at extroversion just to gel with the crowd? Or do you have to keep the mask up all the time for social inclusion? Researchers discovered that introverted participants who act extroverted have shown slower reaction times on cognitive tests than introverts who are allowed to be themselves. This is because the time you spend pretending to be what you aren't naturally wired to be causes depletion in the brain. This distracts and disrupts your usual ways of performance. It's all the more important to realize and acknowledge this as the world is so used to trying to mold introverts into becoming extroverts. And number 10, happiness might not be a top priority for introverts and that's actually okay. Sounds strange, right? Especially when we live in a culture that emphasizes happiness so much. But according to psychologist Maya Tamir of Boston College, Introverts prefer to maintain a neutral emotional state when presented with tasks, such as taking a test, giving a speech, or thinking rationally. This is because happiness, an arousing emotion, may cause you to feel distracted, which gets in the way of performing those tasks efficiently. Extroverts, however, prefer happiness when completing such tasks because it acts as a motivator. Did you find these facts to be relevant and valuable? Do any of these points describe you? Leave a comment down below and feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video interesting, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there wondering about introversion. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching.